All right, let's start off with a question asked Very probably frequently. pretty much every video. Yeah. This one and another one asked all the time. So we're just going to we're going to squash this right now, answer the question. Um, and then at least for a few months, people can watch the video to, to get the answer. <laughs> and then we'll still be asked because people will Of watch course, the video. months later when it's watched with. I'll put this in a playlist so people can just click on questions. There you go. Common, frequently asked questions, yeah, FAQs. FAQs. How do we find garage sales? First of all, start off with, with the recon you do Friday night. Uh, recon on Friday night. Um, you used to do it a lot better than I do. I don't know why I'm so bad at Craigslist. But um, we look on Craigslist at the garage sale tab, and then we go to Saturday. Of course. And we look down just for all the sales that are in the Northwest area. And then we narrow that down to the ones that say video games in them. And then we try to contact all those people. And then we just try to contact everyone in Northwest just right. to see if they have video games and just didn't list it. Correct. I used to do the recon yeah. two years ago. Uh, and then with my job, obviously, it's impossible now for me to do it. Uh, unless I want to email people at midnight, which no yeah, one's going to respond. No but basically, depending on how busy the day is, on days when there's going to be 18 community sales... Recon's not really that important. No. Even if if someone said, hey, we have video games, if they're across town, I'm not going to drive across town no. to see them. I'm going to go to the community cells because you're going to see 18, 19 nice exactly. quality cells. Exactly. But uh, in the past, especially in the winter when nothing's going on. Exactly. That was kind of our, our plan B. So if, if we know it's going to be a bad day or it's like the bad season, right. that's what we always do. I, I would email everyone. And I had a copy paste. I'd email everyone within driving distance of mm -hmm. our house, and I had a copy paste, you know, that said, "I'll be coming to your garage, so I'm looking for these things: Nintendo, Sega, you know, all the keywords." We also used to do recon, um, not only on that, but also on like Craigslist ads just for video games, because then maybe we could set something up so while we're out, yep. we could go pick it up. Yep. But now that Craigslist has kind of gone, Craigslist is. It's. We'll we'll have another video about that, but Craigslist yeah. has died, and then outside of that, every single week. For the last three years, we take pretty much the same exact circle. Yeah. It's a big circle. We know where the cells are. We know where the communities are going to be that have cells constantly. We know where the big neighborhoods are. And to some extent, we know the demographics now. Like, oh, this is a family neighborhood. Yeah. This is a retirement neighborhood. So it's we know where to utilize our time. Obviously, retired, much older people, we don't want to spend a whole no. lot of time devoted to. Like the, uh, the community sale... I don't remember which episode it was, but we were like in like this elder. Remember like all the trailer mm -hmm. homes or whatever. Um, it's actually in a nice area, but for some reason they have all these like mobile home units right. in a community. Oh, it's snowbirds. They drive that down was, and park in the lot during the the cold months of the year. Yeah, that was that was a terrible. It was an sale. awful sell. Never gone back to that community sale. The ever biggest again. the biggest change from then to now is we used to have the policy of never skipping a garage. Never so skipping one, yeah. Now. We know how valuable the time is. We have yeah. sometimes we will skip cells if we're like it's not gonna now, be there. Now if we see like a ninety year old grandma all alone with we're like not with knickknacks. Knickknacks, yeah. Selling knickknacks. So uh that's it. Like I said, recon the night before, send out emails. The thing that you were screwing up for a while is be sure to go to Saturday. Because Craig's is yeah, that stupid I thing. Yeah, I accidentally looked at Friday. Where or... it will have the day of, so it'll yeah, only it show really you cells weird. for Friday. I don't like the change. No. So go to Saturday, send out some emails, and uh, map out a destination if you guys can. Just do the same exact circle every single time. Find find a path you know where there's gonna be a large amount of sales, of communities, and whatnot. Time. Yep. Um, that I still feel like we should check up on occasionally. A little bit more northwest because we usually we usually skip it, but I don't know. It's it's always hard to say because you you can't really pinpoint exactly where to go. Like our route, we just kind of keep doing it. Right. Just it's kind of a habit now. It's the easiest way to do it. It's a nice circle. You don't really have to go out of the way for anything unless a sign leads you down some dirt path. Which is China. bad. Yep. Um. But uh, I don't know. Do you do you think we should ever switch no. it up? No. No. We're gonna we gotta keep doing the circle. Okay. It works. There's Tried a level of randomness to garage selling. And basically, your goal every day is to get to as many quality cells as possible. The rest of it is in, you know, God's hands or whatever. So it's just, it's a level of randomness. But uh, recon on Craigslist and plan a route out. Yep. That's it.